Good afternoon. It is 5 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. Good evening if you are on the East Coast. It is Katie from With, uh, Without a Crystal Ball. And we have an update. Straight from a source connected to Janelli. And sources connected to Andrew Glennon. Because there's a whole lot of rumors flying around. And we thought, hey, let's do a two for one. Bang, bang. Get it all worked out in one. Get your teacups ready because we've got some tea for you. So, there's been a lot of uh, hubbub about whether or not Janelle Eason is going, or Janelle Evans now, is going to return to Teen Mom 2. If you remember, she was in New York in October during the uh, same time that Teen Mom 2's reunion was fil filming. At the time, multiple outlets reported that she had met with Teen Mom, or with MTV executives, about her future with the network. However, no details from the network or Janelle were released in terms of what the meeting entailed. Now, sources connected to Janelle say that she is not in talks at this time to return to the show. In fact, the source says that at this point in time, Janelle is focused primarily on getting her children in school, finding doctors for them, and settling into their new place now that they've moved. Her focus at this point continues to be her children and her new life now without David. So, a Teen Mom 2 reun uh, return by Janelle, at this point, unlikely. Now, the Ashley has reported something similar to this um, along the same camp as what I'm hearing from Janelle's sources. The Ashley reported um, about a week ago that they were in, producers were in contact with Janelle, but they've told her that while they do want to film her actually getting along with people in her life, they are reluctant to put out the money and effort to film her because they know that she could run back to David. Plus, it would be very hard to get a crew together that is will, willing to even film Janelle at this point. Many of the behind the scenes people are genuinely scared to have anything to do with her because of David. So apparently... Talks might have broken down. Now, I have no confirmation from either side of that, but it sounds like maybe they initially talked about it in New York, and now crews are maybe not interested, and Janelle's camp is saying, or sources connected to Janelle are saying, there are no talks. Uh, MTV is not talking with her at this time about a return. So there you go. Now, there's some more details going on. Now, in the middle of this separation, David Eason has been busy on his Etsy and eBay work of foraging knives. And he has been uploading them onto his eBay account and has multiple bids right now for his craftsmanship of several different knives that he is trying to sell. He is apparently desperate to make money because a source connected to Janelle says, their electric bill is $800 past due. And unless David comes up with the cash, the electric at the land might be on the verge of getting shut down. Yikes. Not only is the electric bill not been paid, there's also inklings that he might be behind on child support again. According to the source, he has not paid child support for his son, Caden, since he was in court in May for back child support. At that time, the court had awarded, had said that David had to pay up or he would be going to jail. And at this point, the source says that he has not paid any child support since at least May or April. And apparently, according to the source, it's around $800 a month that he is supposed to be paying Olivia for Caden. Now, I did reach out to Olivia to confirm um, if David was behind on child support, and she did not respond. I also checked active warrants. Um, there were no active warrants for him in Columbus County, and but however, the child support is actually through New, ha New Hanover County in um, North Carolina, and I was unable to find anything related to child support warrants for that county. However, according to the source, if he doesn't pay up soon, he might be ending up behind the bars for not paying child support. Yikes. 
Not only that, apparently the source says that David's been using Janelle's lighting and all of her electronics in order to get stuff set up for his shop. He's so broke that he has to use everything that she has left at the land in order to run his business. According to the source, David literally has nothing. Yikes. Now this is similar to what we had heard early on when they split that Janelle, um, that David did not have any cash, um, that she had left him relatively destitute and that she, she was doing fine financially. Um, and again, my sources did not indicate whether or not there was any sort of financial hardship for Janelle, but um, they did say she is not broke. So two things, we've learned two things. Janelle is maybe probably not gonna go back to Teen Mom 2. And um, she's still in a contract with MTV. MTV does not necessarily wanna have her back, yet hasn't released her from her contract. She may have other opportunities available if she were to be released, unfortunately, they have not released her from her contract at this time. Now, Janelle has stated on Instagram that there's other projects she would love to be able to do, but because she has not been released from her contract with MTV, none of them can move forward. So reality TV may not be out of the realm of possibilities for her. It just might be on another network. We'll have to see. Now, in terms of another rumor swirling is that Andrew Glennon and apparently Janelle Eason are hooking up? No, you're right, that's totally a lie. So there's been this rumor swirling and it was sort of fueled by none other than Sean Portwood on Twitter, which he quickly tweeted and deleted that Andrew has been flirting a ton with Janelle Evans. Um, Andrew admitted recently on Instagram that he, and he, he had spoken to Janelle um, following his breakup with Amber and he had talked with her about different things and reached out to her after she had filed or she was working to file for divorce. Now, I reached out to sources connected to Andrew who denied flat out that there was absolutely no relationship to them between the two of them. In fact, that the source insists the two of them have never met and that Andrew is absolutely has no interest in a relationship at this time because Andrew, according to the source, is extremely busy taking care of James along with taking care of himself following the split with Amber Portwood. Um, in relation to what, con what sort of was going on between the two of them, simple. According to the source, Andrew had reached out to Janelle when she split knowing that she was in the middle of also facing a DV sort of split of, with what she had gone through with David and was really just there to offer support because according to the source, Janelle was actually one of the only cast members that reached out to Andrew at following Amber's arrest. And it was following that arrest that Janelle actually, according to the source, provided Andrew with a bunch of resources for men of male victims of domestic violence. So apparently the two of them have talked. There's absolutely no relationship, nothing romantic, but more supporting one another through a few conversations because they're both going through a tough time. Makes sense. Two people who have similar backgrounds, both gone through DV, both worked for the same network, but absolutely unequivocally can confirm there's absolutely no relationship. Um, between the two of them. So what does this mean? Well, I don't know. I'm not sure who's been spreading this thing about, you know, he, Sean tweets the deletes. There, there still seems to be this, we're gonna smear Andrew camp thing, point of view going on in the world of Amber Portwood allegedly. She has also taken time off social media. So she has given over her uh, Instagram according to her last post on Instagram. So apparently Bubby is maybe the spokesperson for her at this time, I'm not sure. And it's clear that the teen mom world will take pretty much any rumor they can and run with it. So at this point, don't expect a uh, Janelle returning to Teen Mom 2 anytime soon. 
and don't expect a, any wedding bells or anything happening between Andrew and Janelle. And be on the lookout if things sort of get dark over at the land or maybe some cops show up to arrest David because that could be coming if he doesn't pay child support. Again, haven't been able to confirm that because Olivia did not respond to my comment or my request for comment on that. Um, but we'll just say it's happened before. It's not hard out of the realm of possibilities to believe that he probably hasn't paid his child support either. So that's the tea for now. Um, I hope you guys will keep me, uh, will, will be able to sip on this and enjoy it. Um, I'll continue to try to uh, deliver you anything, uh, squash any of these rumors, and provide you any insight I can at this time. Um, but for now, we have debunked several of the ongoing rumors related to the teen mom world. All right, you guys, I'll be back in a little while. Bye. Bye.